Within the past hour, search crews tell First Alert 4 they did not find any human remains inside this South City property, which collapsed yesterday. Now demolition is starting there. And those living next to the home say abandoned properties are endangering the community. Our Kimberly Donahue is taking their concerns straight to the city, finding out what's being done to keep safety at the top of mind. A search for people inside a collapsed building on Missouri Avenue in Marine Villa continued Wednesday. The St. Louis City Fire Department says neighbors told them the collapse started late Monday night before they responded to what's called a pancake collapse Tuesday afternoon. She made a big noise and um, I wasn't sure because as dark as it was, uh, I didn't really know what it was until I came out. The next morning. Neighbors say homeless people often milled around the building. According to fire crews, a cadaver dog picked up a scent near the building's front porch where squatters were known to be. Recoveries are not something that are going to be fast moving, right? Uh, you, you generally take your time with recoveries and you do it in the safest manner possible. Mark Harris lives close to the building and says it's been a source of problems. The homeless people and people, I guess, using drugs, they tend to congregate there and hang out there in all of these uh, vacant properties. So, you know, that's something that uh, me and my neighbors, you know, we, we have to be constantly aware of. City data shows the Land Reutilization Authority owned the house. I reached out to city officials asking if the building was scheduled for demolition and if any money had been invested in the site. A St. Louis Development Corporation spokesperson says there's no information available on the building, but added the LRA is looking at ways to use more modern approaches to secure vacant buildings in its stewardship and is in active conversations with developers and community organizations to engage in the re-envisioning and reuse while accelerating the process of transforming vacant properties into productive uses. As crews research, neighbors say they're hopeful about the neighborhood's future. I still, you know, am cautious when I walk out of my house in the morning to go to work. I'm still cautious, of course, and look around and make sure everything's in check. But, yeah, I feel safe here. It's not a bad neighborhood um, compared to some of the other streets around here. This one is relatively quiet, but anywhere in the city, you know, there are problems. In South St. Louis City, Kimberly Donahue, First Alert 4. And neighbors told us they have made calls in the past about problems at that building, but data about how often the fire department has responded was not available.